Hi everyone, welcome to How to Electronics. In this project, we will build a web controlled smart notice board with an 8 in 1 dot matrix LED display and ESP8266 Wi Fi module. This project is a replacement for traditional notice boards in offices, schools, colleges, and other institutions. Our project, Smart Notice Board, aims at eliminating the use of paper. In our project, the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module can be interfaced with an 8-in-1 MAX 7219 dot matrix LED display. The ESP8266 connects to a Wi-Fi network and generates a web page. We can access the web page using the local IP address of Node MCU ESP8266. No matter if you on a display a short term or long term notice, all you need is to write a text and send it. The old message will be replaced with a new message. You can also create various effects such as scrolling left or scrolling right. You may change the scrolling speed. And the best thing is the display mechanism can be reversed as well. So let's see how we can build this smart notice board. Do you want professional PCBs like this one that looks so good then use the services of next PCB. You can select the board size, any solder mask color that you want including something like red and green. You can select the thickness and the PCB could be from 2 up to 32 layers for some more complex design. The finish quality is so good and if you want better connectivity, you could also select some gold finish for the pads. The ordering process is so easy. Just go to nextpcb.com then quit now. Insert your design setting, upload your cover files and order now. And receive the PCB in a couple of days. Well, the component required for this project is ESP8266 Wi-Fi development board. Then 8-in-1 dot matrix LED. You can use a 4-in-1 or 16-in-1 LED display for your project. Use a 5 volt DC power supply as current consumption is higher and ESP8266 is not capable of supplying current if LED is used at full brightness. In my case, I will use a breadboard and a few jumper wires for the demo. The connection is fairly simple as shown in this image. The hardware is ready to be used. If you want to develop a full featured project on a PCB board, follow this connection diagram using some additional components. I converted the schematic into PCB. This is the 3D view of the PCB. You can download the cover file from the description below. Let's quickly move to the coding part now. The program for this smart notice board is taken from the library example. This code includes the Wi-Fi library for enabling the Node MCU to create a web server over a Wi-Fi network. It also includes the MD, Max 72 XX and Parola library for controlling the LED matrix and generating various LED effects. From the following lines, change the Wi-Fi SSID and password. This whole script is for creating a fully functional web page. You can also change the design and appearance of the web page by changing the HTML and CSS part of the code. Only do this if you have prior knowledge of web development and design. Otherwise, the web page may not be displayed. Connect a micro USB cable to your Node MCU ESP8266 board and upload the following code to it. Now, let us test the working and demo of the smart notice board. After uploading the code, the ESP8266 will connect to the Wi-Fi network using the Wi-Fi credentials. The dot matrix LED display will show the IP address after a successful connection. Open your web browser and enter the IP address. The browser will display the following page. From the web page, enter any message you want to display on dot matrix display as a notice. Then hit send button. The dot matrix will show you the message in a few seconds. You can change the scrolling effect from left to right or from right to left. You can also change the scrolling speed and reverse the LED display.
In conclusion, we can say that this display can be easily integrated with all general purpose display boards thus proving its mobility. The message is transferred using wireless technology and is eventually obtained on the LED matrix. Thus, we can use modern technology to replace conventional display boards and the web server interface can make this system even more user-friendly and popular. Alright, that is all from the video part today. The complete project details including device information, purchase link, source code and written guide can be followed in the How to Electronics website article. In case you have any other questions, you can comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.